Hey everybody, Brett from Stars Gaming here, back with part 15 of our Crusader Kings 2 Elder Kings mod let's play. Sorry if that sounds a little funny, my uh, my headphones are playing back the sound to me, and uh, if you've ever tried talking over yourself when it's being played through your headphones, it's not easy to do. Um, so, let's see, last episode, um, I believe, no, we had taken Eagle Brook prior to that. Um, last episode, we started working on a claim in Sharnhelm. We had given up on Garrett for the time being because it was just taking too long. Um, we do still hold a claim on Pordun Creek here. However, like I said previously, because it's part of the Kingdom of North Point, we're probably not going to touch it for now. Um, they beat us to it, unfortunately, and it would have been nice to have because it will be our first province bordering the... Uh, the water, the ocean there. We could also think about maybe moving south. Oh, interesting. The primary culture there is elves. That's kind of... That's very interesting, actually. I would have assumed they were Bretons because the elves, the Altmer, are way down here, I believe. Yeah. This is the Somerset Isles where the uh, Altmer live. So that's kind of strange that they managed to take this little island up here. It's converted to their religion too. Well, let's uh, get the clock rolling here. And yeah, we're eventually going to need to give up some land to our sons here. I'm not sure how I want to do it. Hmm. No, thank you. Your child, Brokeel, has decided to steer away from the court and seek his own fortune, although he will no doubt gain both riches and valuable. Uh, I don't want to tell him he can't, but at the same time, I really need him as a spy master. Um, yeah, let's just tell him to go for it. As I recall, there was a, um, oh, apparently he doesn't leave my, my court, so that's good. Um, but as I recall, there was somebody competing for his spot anyways, so, um, if he does leave, we, we have a viable replacement, unless I'm mistaken. Now, let's give him a chance to get us a claim here. Uh-oh. Damp worm. Damp worm is a common disease with serious effects. Symptoms include uncontrollable muscle spasms and twitching. May be contracted from deer and nix hounds. Interesting. Uh, minus two health. That's not too bad. Um, base health is five, so we're still. Who are they expiring with? Oh, with Sharnhelm. Okay. That's good. What was I saying? Oh, um, so he still has more than half of his health. His health should be at like three. Um, I don't think it'll show me unless I pull up like a cheat menu, but that's fine. I have risen so fast to the top that other people are, other people regard me with envy. Uh, Erzoga admires the ambition of King Shoa. Okay. Begged me to help her become as successful as me. It was almost disgusting how she admired my ambition and success. I'll teach you, but I gotta charge you. <laughs> as long as she doesn't stab us in the back, that's fine, I guess. Hmm. We need to find a war fairly shortly here. Steward Chief, what, Steward Chief Gromick wants to hire ruffians to bully the peasants who are not paying their taxes. Um, 2.5 gold for um, like one year of unhappiness. That's, I don't know that that's really worth it. 
That's not very much gold. That's like about what we'd make. No, that's that's a lot less than what we'd make in that time span just from our regular income. I'm suddenly feeling better. Is my illness really gone for good? Hopefully. Hmm. Yeah, so this is the primary target right now. And then I think Menavia here will be next. I'd like to slowly start chipping away at Wayrest here. Because the more land... Right now, we should be able to handle them. And the more land we take from them, the smaller and smaller they're going to get until inevitably, you know, we can just completely... Uh, absorb them into our kingdom and then taking way rest would be a huge benefit to us too because we I mean this is making like nine gold in taxes this is making almost six this is making a little bit less than the castle there um, another nine from the capital where we're getting like what three and a half there two 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 and a half, two and a half, and how about these? Two and a half as well. So yeah, in this province alone, they're probably making just as much taxes as we are for like more than half of our kingdom. So obviously that would be um, a huge benefit to us. Okay, so somebody died of old age. There we go. Um, still looking to create the Kingdom of Orsinium, but we don't have the funds, although we're pretty close. Cost me 350 gold and 200 favor. Oh, so I don't... Oh, I do I do have the favor. Um, I don't have the gold, though. My grandson, Shobab, practically lives in the kitchen. It's a little glutton. Um, let's talk to him about moderation. Because that's... I mean, if we whip him, there's only a 40% chance he loses it. If we talk to him about it, there's a 50% chance, and we also potentially gain temperate, which is um, a pretty good trait. Seems to always be moderate, never does anything to excess. He's gained the temperate trait. Okay, cool. Um, I forget who he was. He's like the son of our son, but I don't remember which son. Um... My wife, Queen Hamraz, has asked me to get rid of one of my courtiers whom she finds mildly annoying. On one hand, Hamraz might not be happy if I refuse her request, but if I fire the annoying man, maybe people will feel my wife has too much influence over my actions. Um, and she wants me to fire Mogrul again. So I'm going to say no, because Mogrul is... Um, okay, so our heir had another son. But yeah, Mogrul is one of our best, not only is he our son, but he's one of our best uh, court members. So let's check out him. Are these guys inheriting? I don't think they are, and that's unfortunate. Um, I was hoping that they'd be picking up, like, quick or something. No, none of them did. Um, that's kind of a bummer, because I feel like his kid probably did. And envious. Dear Father, it's fine day with you around. I've discovered a plot where Dura seeks to seduce King Shobab the Rogue. I don't really care. Who are you? Wow, he's already 32. Um, wow. He's going to be pretty old by the time he inherits the throne. I, I really wish one of these guys would be able to usurp it from him. He's not... I mean, they're slightly younger. Okay, good. We got a little boost to uh, reinforcements. Not only are they better characters, but they're slightly younger, and I believe their sons are younger as well. I'm starting to think Ugak might fancy me. I don't care. Um, okay. Actually, let's look at technology. We haven't checked out technology in a while. Intellectual customs, what's that going to do for us? Um, domain bonus? Hmm. What's majesty going to do? 
monthly prestige gain. Okay, Majesty is a lot more important in the base game because it allows you to um, make a lot of like legal changes to your kingdom. In this, well, at least as the orcs, um, we can't really do anything about the centralization, so it's not really going to help us. I think intellectual customs might be might be good. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to try it because if it does boost our domain bonus up to 2%, I think that'll give us another territory maybe. We'll see, I guess. Maybe not. I could be wrong there. Hmm. Hopefully you are able to convert the religion over there pretty soon. One stormy night an adventurer comes to your castle. He claims after traveling for many years seeking fortune and adventure, he's decided that you would make a worthy master. Thus he offers his services to you. Um, a soldier named Orak appears at the court. Sure, why not? For five gold. And what is he like? Probably way at the bottom here. Yep, there he is. Eh, not super great, but not terrible. Let's get him a wife or something, I guess. Hmm. How about you? No? Oh, matrilineally. Okay. What if I marry him into... Damn it. Into my family. So I could have him marry her or something. Sure, let's do that. At age 60, Ugak died a natural death. Okay, so we got more people dying of old age. And I thought we were taking a pilgrimage. Oh, who is this? Kafuto Gro Dubok. So it's, oh, it's his son. Uh, is this kid his heir? Let's see. Three, zero. Yeah, we're going to need to bring him up ourselves, I think. Unless, uh... Okay, I think we, we have one opening. Does it say... Yeah, okay. So he's my other potential heir and then this kid is my grandson I think it's the son of either him or him god I can't buy a freaking land claim right now um, I'm wondering if if these guys don't have any friends and we We go for an inquisition on them. I don't know that anybody will join up. Because... They hate them. However, if they still do, I risk uniting them against people that would otherwise be attacking them. So it's kind of a dangerous proposition. But it would be, it would be worth it to just like kind of take this really quickly however they are pretty well reinforced here I mean that's 300 there there's a hundred 800 although that's all he could call up and then obviously whatever whatever mercenaries he can afford he can afford about 2,000 mercenaries with that I think um, we obviously have a lot more but I'm trying to save this for this title here because obviously turning this into a real kingdom would be ideal and it would give us a much larger domain to work with I imagine plus I think um, if we were to change our ambition to become king and we did that we would get a huge amount of prestige from it hmm. so let's wait and see what happens here I would like to um, do that ideally before he dies though because the 
I don't know that the money does, but the prestige and the favor certainly don't carry over from your ruler to his heir. The money might. I don't remember. I, I'm fairly sure that it does. But yeah, the prestige and the favor do not, so we may as well spend it on that title uh, before he dies so that the next king inherits the title because he's not going to inherit the prestige anyways. Um, starting to think that she might fancy me. She's your sister-in-law, dude. Come on. Uh, I, don't, I think fair should be banned. Not in real life, obviously. Just uh, That's the only one of those options that doesn't suck. It's like, oh, you can get a cool trinket for five gold, but then everyone thinks you're like a... I don't know, like a compulsive shopper or something. Uh, I've fallen in love with Dura. Who are these people that you're just like... God. <laughs> you have like three wives. How many... Oh, okay, you've got two wives. So who was it? Dura? Fine. We'll, we'll marry her because why not? Um, gold or prestige? Let's take the gold. That'll get us closer to uh, 350, which is how much we need. Ideally, I'd like to be at like 400 before I do that, but he's impulsive and seems unable to tell right from wrong. What should I do with my wayward grandson? Uh, arbitrary is a trait we do not want, so it's the strap for him. Yeah, unfortunately, his bloodline is just terrible, and we can't seem to get rid of him. Um, make decisions. Oh, we've got all these like things that we could be throwing out here. Um, I don't know. In in vanilla Crusader Kings, I use these quite a bit, but because we're really the only ruler right now you know I don't have to deal with I'm sure they'll change as we get deeper into the game but I'm not I mean I don't have any direct vassals I really need to worry about other than these two clowns and they're they're barons they're not even um, dukes let's see my success okay cool so she converted the um, the religion here that's perfect now, the culture is going to take a while, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, let's work on cultural tech, perform charity, heal. We don't have any disease right now. Let's have her... Uh, we can't. Okay. We'll just have her heal in the capital then, I guess. I was going to start converting Sharnhelm there since that's our next target, but can't do it, so we'll have to figure out something else. Now, let's see about this title. We can do it. It's going to cost me just about all of my gold, half my prestige, and two-thirds of my favor. But we'll be king. Um... Okay, so that's the soldier that came and joined us and his wife. Let's pause really quickly. I'm going to change his ambition to become king. And then I will make him a king. Wait, what did that? Oh, it cost me the favor I needed. Damn it. Or something did. We lost 100 favor. Ah, oh, that sucks. Oh well. We only need um 22, so it, it could be a lot worse. Uh, patience is a virtue, but sometimes it gets on my nerves. My son, my grandson, Shobab, never loses his temper. Always waiting patiently for a chance to retaliate. Patient is a pretty good trait. Lose five prestige. Um, so what, 90% chance, no effect, 10% chance he gains the trait Roth. Hmm. Well, we want him to get the trait Patient. I'm curious, by no effect, does that mean that he still 
gets it, or... I don't think that it does, because right here it's saying that he would gain it. And... No, let's make sure he gets patient. I'm not... I'm not gonna rush this... You know, over... Oh, it was the other kid. It was this kid. Wow, he is already so much better. Patient, temperate, gregarious. Yeah, he unfortunately he didn't get quick like his father, but he's still pretty good. Hmm. I'm still worried about our inheritance here. I just wish there was some way to unseat this guy other than, like, I can't kill him. Um, there's really nothing I can do. I could imprison him. Um... Let's see. Using this option is viewed as tyrannical and will lower all of your subjects' opinions of you by 40. Well, worst case scenario, I suppose we could do that. But I'd really prefer to have, like, this guy inherit the throne. Um, his son's not that great, though. This guy would be more ideal. Because not only does he have a daughter who's pretty good but he's got a son who's pretty good. Like, really, really good. So, I don't know how I can manipulate that to make him become the heir. Hmm, I'll have to look into that between episodes. And speaking of which, I need to check the time, so I will be right back. Okay, so we're at about 22 minutes, so we've got a couple left. Let's uh, keep running the clock here and see if we get any any major events from it but yeah I'm gonna try to figure out a way to manipulate this to get him to become the heir or at least his his son my grandson because this kid's gonna be a lot better than any of the other potential heirs uh, let's see my heart missed a beat when I saw Kafuto emerge from the dungeons covered in grime with a bloody knife in his hand uh, cruel wrath and craven aren't very good traits. And there's no other option. I mean, cruel, I guess, would be okay. Uh, Roth wouldn't be terrible. And he got cruel. Yeah, so he lost his only diplomacy, if he had any to begin with. Okay, no. So he had zero, and he's, at, he's basically at negative two right now. And he got one Intrigue, which, yeah. So this is our potential heir right now. Um, not looking very good. So how I'm going to do this, I don't know. Um, again, I'm not sure how this... Mogul is no longer Marshal for King Shobab. What happened? Shobab Orkul has left your court for Mogul's host. Interesting. So is he like one of those war bands that runs around and causes trouble? After years of careful planning, Mogul Orkul has, has raised a large army of exiles, mercenaries, and hopefuls, declaring his intention to go off and carve out a realm of his own. So we might have some, like, orc... Well, as long as he doesn't, like, declare war on us, we'll have, like, some orc allies, which might be kind of cool. However, that pulls him out of the running for becoming king. It's a fine day with either round. We request you honor your obligation and answer this call to arms against Jarl Ilorf of Volkilhar. Um, where is that? It's, like, down... I don't know where that is. I'd like to um, know where that is. Well, let's go ahead and accept. Because I don't want to get on their bad side. And let's see how this plays out. I thought it was over here somewhere. Patience is a virtue. Sure give you like at least one decent trait where hold on where are you guys at war 
Um, you don't have a province, so I can't really see who you're... Well, I can check mine now. Oh, he's at war with them way up there. I thought that sounded familiar. That's actually in... Um, that's a place in the actual game, Skyrim. I think that's where... Um, somebody's... Ysgrimor's tomb, I think, is up there. Uh, Ysgrimor being the original leader of the 500 companions. Now, what are you guys going to do? Go kick his butt. Or declare war on these guys or something. That's actually an interesting thought. We could help. We could have them help us. Assuming we could, like, we could treat them like mercenaries, maybe, and try to get them landed. Hmm. I don't know how that would work. No, I don't suppose we could. Yeah, we can give him gold, but... My moodiness and tendency to lash out at people is getting worse. I sleep too little and can't seem to stop worrying. We get stressed. Great. So I think it's... Our uh, king's health seems to be kind of winding down. Let's see. You're pretty good. You are... My son. But he's a lot better than you. So we're going to choose him. And I suppose we'll have him training troops, as always. I think we're going to have to break off the episode here, because it doesn't seem like anything immediately is going to happen. Although we might have some interesting developments next time around. And it looks like our favor is slowly ticking up. Let's deal with this child here, and then we will end the episode. So, wait, who is he? He's my grandson. Whose son is he? His. Okay, so he's, what, second in line? I believe he's second in line. Um, let's go ahead and educate him ourselves, just to be safe. Um, since we should have a, a free spot after the other kid left. Unless we're still... Oh, okay, we are still um, teaching him, even though he's technically not here anymore. Hmm. You know what? Let's go ahead and have somebody else educate him. No, why not? Well, maybe your own father then. Uh, you know what? Whatever. We'll just leave it. Uh, let's have you be educated by... He's actually pretty good all around. Although... Let's see, you're pretty balanced as well. Let's go with him. We'll have his uncle do it. And that's where we're going to end the episode, so let me pause here. And so don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. Um, definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments, uh, especially with some of the plans I was talking about earlier. And thank you guys for watching. I will see you back here for part 16 of our Crusader Kings 2. Elder King's mod, let's play.